love you too. It's your girl that's our day. And today we're back to be back back with another YouTube video. Period. So today, as you all can tell by that title, I'm going to be doing a how to be a baddie 101 with tips that I'm going to be doing how to be a baddie externally and internally because it's not all about the outside it's, we gotta be a baddie on the inside too in order to be on a baddie on the outside you have to be a baddie on the inside and that's the way and that's the facts that's period but if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel like I said my name is that's her name and make sure you subscribe to the channel become a part of the that's her game because we're the latest game out here and that's our period but if I sound a little stuffy, my nose is stopped up, so don't mind that. But let's go ahead and get started with this video because I don't want it to be long because my videos are always long and I think y'all hate long videos, so we're going to try to make them a little shorter. So I got my journal, my notebook, whatever you want to call it. And I also got my water bottle. So I'm just going to go ahead and be, you know rating and tell y'all my tips on how I became a baddie as y'all can see <laughs> as y'all can see you know not just on the outside though I'm a baddie on the inside too so I want y'all to get like that too and let's go ahead and get started so number one how to be a baddie one on one internally Tip number one, self-esteem. You have to work on your self-esteem. Stop putting yourself second. Stop letting people get the best of you. Okay, that's what I wrote down, but self-esteem, this and this and this thing. You can be the prettiest girl, because you are the prettiest girl. But do you really feel like it though? When you look at this girl on Instagram, do you feel bad? Like, do you feel like, dang, I'm not all that, I could be better? Do you feel like, oh my God, I'm too skinny? Do you feel like, oh my God, I'm too fat? If you feel like that, your self-esteem is, and you need to get it up, okay? Up. Because your self-esteem is key. Like, you have to be good within yourself. Because if you're not, any little thing that you see that you might think is better, even though we all know that society trying to, you know, brainwash us. But it's like when you're not, oh, I was about to say, me not confident. But when your self esteem is not good, like I said, you can see the smallest little thing that you might not like about your stuff that somebody else has, and you're going to feel trash. You don't want to feel trash. You want to build your self esteem up, look in the mirror, tell yourself, I'm cute every day. I'm that B. I'm a baddie every single day. You need to tell yourself every single day. Y'all might be like, oh my God, no, I don't, I'm gonna do it. Y'all, do it. Because listen, your self esteem bad, you're not a baddie. I don't care. You can look like a baddie, but when you look at somebody else and you like feel hit or feel threatened, like, oh my God, she just looked way better than me, and you just feel some type of way. You're not a baddie. Because baddies don't let other people make them feel some type of way. Baddies don't let... No. Baddies have good self-esteem. So, at least try to work on your self-esteem. And if you want to know, like, how to work on your self-esteem, I recommend you Googling it or something. Because, I mean, I can make a whole separate video. But that's the whole other topic. So, yeah. Tip number one. Self-esteem. You have to have good self-esteem. Or at least try building it. You know. It's not going to happen overnight. But... Please try. Number two, how to be a baddie one-on-one. Confidence is key. This goes hand in hand with the self-esteem. Like, you have to be confident. Like, tell yourself in the mirror every day, I'm cute. I'm that B. I'm smart. I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? I'm that girl. Like, I'm the it girl. And I ain't even asked to be the girl. You know? Confidence. Like, you just have to be confident. Like, you have to know you're that girl. You have to know you're on top. Because, like, like I said, this goes hand in hand with this self-esteem. If you don't know, then, I mean, 
you really not gonna feel that good like you can look good but if you don't feel good you're gonna get negative energy towards you and it's, it's not a good feeling so confidence is key make sure you build up your confidence like in a mirror every day and be like i'm cute i'm smart i'm funny you know everything so build your confidence up and don't let other people put you down and don't think other people are better than you or look better than you because no you're better than them period how to be a baddie one-on-one tip number three be yourself it's okay to be inspired by other people but do what fits you don't try to be someone that you aren't or don't try to wear stuff that you wouldn't wear okay i know that was long so i'm gonna go ahead and break it down so i said be yourself it's okay to be inspired but do what fits you you might see people on tiktok instagram any type of social media right you know just looking all aesthetic booty looking up waist looking up and i mean it's good to be inspired but do what fits you don't try to fit in with everybody else or if you do try to fit in, don't try to fit in to the point where you don't feel like it's you, like you feel like you're forced. Because if you do that, you're not a baddie. I don't care. Like, baddies do what they want, like, period, and stands on it. Like, can't nobody tell me what to do or, yeah, I may be inspired by you, but I'm not going to do exactly what you do because I know it's not me. I'm not going to be someone who I'm not. And you don't need to be trying to be someone that you're not. Okay? Be you. It's only one you. So, be you. And stop trying to be anyone else. Like I said, it's okay to be inspired. It's, it's cute. So, you know, I'll try to mimic. But don't do it to the point where you feel, like, uncomfortable. And if you're like, oh my god, it's not me. I can't wait to go home and take this off. Because it's so uncomfortable. Don't do that. Like, be you. Step number four. How to be a baddie one one invest in yourself self-care is so important <clears throat> now let me break this down invest in yourself if you want to go get that starbucks if you want to go to the mall you know just get a little outfit i'm not saying every day but like once in a while you deserve it so it's always important to invest in yourself invest in your time you need your time and love yourself so you need to invest like you know like i'm not saying you need to but you need to like if you want to get your hair done like you know once a month every two weeks every three weeks every four weeks do that because you deserve you deserve to get your hair done you deserve to get your nails done you deserve whatever you want so yeah just invest in yourself invest in your time and what else i put i said self-care is so important Y'all, let me tell y'all about skincare. Y'all gonna see a whole lot of skincare videos from me because I just like, ever since like I started really getting to skincare, I just loved it. Like at first I thought like skincare was just, you know, washing my face and like putting moisturizer on it. No, if you're doing that, no, that's not skincare. That's, you know, that's the part. But skincare, like self-care, did I say skincare? What is, y'all know what I mean self-care skincare whatever it's just like so amazing like you know you feel more what's the word like, i don't know you just feel like more relaxed and feel more good more confident you know when you really take care of yourself like for real like keep your mind like off of everyone and everything else and just focus on you focus on your self-care your skincare if you want to go get a facial go get one if you want to go get that wax you've been thinking about me hesitating go get one if you want to you know get some scrub body scrubs go get that you know just invest in yourself like take time for yourself because it's so important y'all and honestly i can relate like for real to this because i used to be the type of person where i used to feel like oh i always have to have someone around me or I always have to, you know, be involved. But it's like, no, like, it's good sometimes to just sit back, relax, and focus on yourself. You know, like, plan some things out. Do what you want to do for you. Okay? Like, it just feels so, like, it's different. Like, it's a different type of vibe. You know, we just focus on yourself, relaxing. Everybody has problems you don't have to worry about. 
or nothing. So yeah, that's really important, you guys. Tip number five on how to be a baddie one-on-one. -on -one. Stop comparing yourself to others. And I can't stress this enough. Me personally, I have done this, but not to the like extent why I see some people online like being like, oh my God, I'm so ugly. I feel so bad. I wish I was this girl. Oh my God, how did she get? Y'all are two different people. Y'all don't have the same life. You don't know what they had to go through to get where they're at. And that's period. Stop comparing yourself to others because they're going to show you the good, but they're never going to show you the bad. And you might do the same too. Like, you know, you post on Instagram, like, well, some of y'all be posting way too much. But the people who don't, like, keep it classy, y'all not going to post the bad. Y'all not going to post when you're crying. Y'all not going to post when you're in your feelings. You just going to post when you, you know, you go to Starbucks and you get a drink every day. Or you going to post, you know, you put on your little cute outfit to get on makeup and you about to go somewhere. That's what you're going to post. You're not going to post the bad. So stop looking at other people and comparing yourself to them. Like, oh, she's better than me. Or how she got this. Or how she got... You don't know what they did to get that. Okay? And I'm pretty sure if you want the same thing, you can manifest and you can work for it too. But stop comparing yourself to others. Like, for real. Like, that's so annoying. I hate when people do that. Like, I'm so glad I'm being the type of person. Like, I kind of used to do that. Like, maybe like three years ago, three or four years ago. But now I'm just like, I'm me. I have to be me. Okay, I might see somebody else on Instagram looking real cute. Or like, you know, the little new bag and stuff and all that. I mean, that's cool and all, you know. Kudos to you. But you gotta remember, that's social media. We're in real life. Social media is not real life. It's the fantasy. And remember that. So, yeah. Tip number six, how to be a baddie. One-on-one. -on -one. Tell yourself that you're beautiful every day. And I said this earlier, but you have to do this. I mean, you don't have to, but at least one time a day, look in the mirror and be like, I'm looking in the mirror right now and be like, I'm beautiful. Because if you don't tell yourself that, I mean, you may feel it on the inside like me. I used to feel it on the inside, so I never really used to say it out loud and look in the mirror. Because I used to feel it on the inside. But it's like, you have to put it out. Let the universe feel it. So when you get that energy back, you like, somebody try to tell you something else, you're like, girl, bye. I know I'm cute. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm cute. So can't nobody tell me nothing. Any little dude tell you you ugly. Any little whatever. You a girl, any little hater. You gonna be like, no, I know I'm cute. So can't nobody tell me nothing because I know that I'm cute. So yeah, tell yourself that every day. Not just in your head, but out loud. Tip number seven, how to be a baddie one-on-one. Know yourself, know your worth. Okay, know your worth. Know your worth. Because if you don't know your worth, guess what's happening? Guess what's going to happen? Everyone's going to run all over you. And you're going to feel crappy. Everyone's going to think they can do whatever they want to you. And then you feel bad like... Oh, I don't, I don't let everybody do what they want to me. But yes, you do. Because you're showing it. Not your worth. Stop letting people run all over you. Stop letting people... I ain't gonna say... I ain't gonna say that. Just stop letting people run all over you. Stop letting people say whatever they want to you. And yeah, just know yourself. Like I said, know yourself. Stand up for yourself. And know your worth. You wanna be a baddie? You gotta know your worth. Because baddie's not gonna let people run all over them. No. Maddie's not going to let people say whatever they want. Like, and that can be like an insult, a threat, whatever. And just let them roll out all over them like they're a doormat. No. Because when you stand up for yourself, that shows that you're baddie because you're confident. And you're not going to go for all that mess. Okay. Tip number eight. How to be a baddie one-on-one. Accept your flaws. Okay. Like. I know we all have a flaw. You can think you're the most perfect person. But everyone has a flaw. Even the most, even the people you think that don't, they really do. Everyone has a flaw. Either it's that you don't like your eyes, you don't like your nose, you don't like your teeth. You don't like, it can be any little thing. You want your boobs to be bigger or smaller. Or you want your butt to be bigger or smaller. Everybody has flaws. But you have to accept it. Because guess what? If you don't, 
if you don't accept your flaws, it's just going to be like, every time you look in the mirror, it's going to be like, oh my God, I hate this part about myself. And when you do that, guess what? The universe is going to take it in like, oh, she hates everything about herself or she hates this part about herself. So that's all going to be in your head. And every time you look in the mirror, you're going to see that part. But when you accept it, be like, like, okay, yeah, that's me. That's me. Okay, and, and, and you have to accept your flaws, like, period. Because, yeah, I feel like that's like a mental thing, like, in a society type of thing, like, pressuring you to not like, not like certain things about yourself. But, I mean... Just accept that because it's you. Like I said, it's only one you, so you might have something that no one else has. And you don't like it? Okay. Oh, well. Accept it. Move on in life. Yeah. Number nine. Tip number nine. How to be a baddie. One on one. Pamper and spoil yourself. Pamper yourself, spoil yourself. Like listen if you don't get cute like i know some people like oh i don't feel like getting cute just get cute like even if you don't feel like if you really really don't feel like it don't but at least like if you don't get out the house or nothing or like at school at least once a week just at least because you feel you know you feel more better like you feel like oh yeah i'm that girl and i know it so yeah i don't feel like I feel like, I can't talk today, but I feel like you should pamper and spoil yourself. Like I said, go shopping. Take yourself on a shopping spree. Go do your hair. Go do your makeup. Do something that makes you feel good about yourself. Just do it. Because you're going to know you're a baddie. You're going to know you're that girl. When you feel like it. You know you're that girl. You know you're a baddie when you feel like it. So, number 10. Set personal goals and complete them. When you set goals, and it can be small, don't don't be setting on big goals that you know that's not gonna be attainable. Well, you can, but just accept like start small, like accept do small stuff first. Like okay, I'm gonna drink more water. I'm gonna drink, you know, like a big thing like this every day. That's the goal for like a whole week. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Just set personal goals and complete your goals. Don't set goals that you know you're not going to complete. Because then you're going to feel like crap when you don't complete them. So, yeah. Set personal goals and complete them. Tip 11. How to be a baddie. Have self-respect. Now, y'all, that's all for the external. I mean, the internal part. So, how to be a baddie inside. Now, I'm going to talk about the outside. Okay. This video is long, so if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Anyways, for the external parts on the outside. Tip number one, smelling good. Smelling good, okay? I don't care if you're just going to the dollar store. I don't care if you're just going to Walmart. Listen, put on something. Put on some little, some perfume. And if you guys want to know the perfumes that I use to smell like a baby, y'all can go check out my designer perfume collection. It's going to be linked down below. So go check that out. Or it's going to be an iCard right here. Yeah, right there. But <laughs> make sure you smell good, okay? Just put on some perfume. Put on some perfume lotion. Smell good. Just smell good. It gives you a boost, okay? Number two, dress cute. I know some of y'all be like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to dress whatever. No, be cute. Like like I said, if you don't do it, if you don't want to do it every day, just do it at least once a week. Me personally, I try to do it every day just so I know I feel like, you know, I feel good. So, yeah, dress cute. Number three, look cute. Whatever cute looks like to you, look like that. So, not what Instagram says looks cute, what you think looks cute. So, that can mean like, you know, doing your hair, 
on doing your eyelashes or putting on some lip gloss. Just look cute, you know? So you feel cute. Number four, shave wax for a cleaner feel. Shave slash wax for a cleaner feel, yeah, baby. You know, when you shave or when you wax or whatever you do, nair, veep, whatever you do, you just feel better and you know this. So, just do it. Even if you're not going to see a man, even if you don't got no man, even if you're not going to see nobody, still do it for you. Do it for you. Stop doing stuff for other people. Do stuff for you. Okay? Number five. Get your hair done. Keep your hair done. Keep yourself looking nice. If you don't want to get your hair done, do your own hair. Learn how to do hair. At least your own hair. If you don't feel like spending hundreds of dollars, do your own hair. I do. I always do my own hair. So do your own hair. And keep your hair done. Next tip: Try to eat healthier and drink plenty of water. Now this has a significant effect. Like y'all, when I drink like water like i start started like a couple of days ago like drinking like this two two of these big water bottles a day and like eating healthier like it's okay to still get you know fast food whatever but when you just start eating healthier like and drinking a lot of water and me i put fruit in my water i've been putting apples grapes oranges limes lemons mangoes all of that is in here because i don't i like regular water but you know i like when it has a little flavor too and i just noticed like when you eat healthier and you drink like majority water you just feel more cleaner like you feel better you feel, you have more energy you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah and like i noticed like i watch like a lot of aesthetic youtubers who vlog and stuff and i be seeing like Oh my god, they be eating like that good healthy food, like which is good for you. And that's how they like that. That's how they you know because they treat their body good, like inside and out. Like treat your body good. Your body deserves to be done good. Treated good. <laughs> and the last tip how to be a baddie is to make your own money. If you're old enough to have a job make your own money because like i noticed when i started making my own money and didn't really have to ask my, of course you know parents still going you know give you everything but it's like when you just in control like of your own money you can spend your money i want to whenever you want to so much better and you feel like more confident like because it's like oh i don't have to keep asking my mom or i don't have to keep asking my dad for money and I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that because, like, they're your parents, duh. But it's just like when you have control of your own money and do whatever you want with it, it's just so much better. Like, so much better. You don't have to get a, you know, job, job, like, if you're not into that. But I recommend you do at least try it at least once so you can, you know, just get some experience in the job world. You know, like the work world, I guess. I don't know. But. You can always start, like, you know, like, Instagram, like, you know, jobs. Like, you know, selling stuff. Like, like me, I have a graphic design page. I make intros, logos, flyers, banners, stuff like that. That's, like, a, it's not a job, but it's it's a job. I'm going to say it's a job because I'm manifesting more for my graphic design page, which is a mere design. And it's going to be right here and linked down below. If you guys want to check it out. But yeah, like you can do like something like that for, you know, some money or just whatever. Like, just, I feel like you should make your own money. Especially if you're over the, if you're over the age of 14, like 14 and up, you can get a job. Go get a job. Or like I said, do you a little Instagram, a little business or whatever. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So, that's it for this video, you guys. I know it's really long. Like, I know it's really long. I hate my videos always come along, but it's whatever. It's okay. It's fine. But, like I said, if you made it this far, comment a red heart. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram. at It's always going to be right here and link down below because we lay and be really cute over there, too. So, 
and yeah you guys so that's gonna be the end of this video and i hope you liked it and i hope you took some tips and some of my advice because yeah like i wish i would have heard these things like when i was you know like i was like 14 and up but i'm good now you know i'm i'm good now but hopefully i helped one of you and make sure you check out the description box for you know like my little bio, my little Instagram page, my little graphic design page, and my little posh park closet, and my little fundraiser I got going on. Oh, yeah, you guys, I forgot to tell you I have a little fundraiser. You can donate it if you want to. But it's just, you know, like, for my channel, like, for my channel and stuff, for my channel. You know what I'm saying? Here's my channel. So, yeah, I'm done with this video, and that's why I'm out.